All right, Shalom, it's your brother Kosh Kuala coming back at you with another lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises to you. How will Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Yahweh Salaki, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone and ruling, teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the 1144 first fruit. All right, so this is going to be a fairly quick lesson. You can already see I've got the one of the biggest prophecies that are starting to unravel itself here today in Revelation 13. All right. I'm going to start at Revelation 13 in, uh, uh, I'll start at 14. It says, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the, in the sight. Yes. So we, in the sight of the beast, Salaki. So the main thing you want to focus on right here is the deceive and then the miracles. So the miracles in which he deceives the people. And we're speaking about uh, this B system. We're speaking about Esau. You know what I'm saying? The things that they do to deceive the people. And what you see today, this is miracles, uh, uh, especially when it comes to the monetary side of things. Uh, transactions of funds have never been done like this ever you could tap someone's phone and send them a thousand dollars you know that's what you would call a miracle so he says he deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the uh wound by a sword and did live so like him all right, verse 15, it says, uh, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should be both speak, both speak and cause uh, that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Let's get to the point of the matter. It says, and he caused it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their in their right hand or in their foreheads. Uh, verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And verse 18 goes into the wisdom of that. All right. But I'm just paying, just wanted to come out with something really quickly here. It's not necessarily a breakdown of these, but we are going to go into um, that, that mark or whatnot that he caused all to receive. All right. And how that's being implemented right now. We have something called the ISO 20022 uh, Universal Financial Industry uh, Message Scheme, you could say. Um, so pretty much you can see a small uh, depiction or detail of what ISO 222 is. It's a single standard standardization approach, all right, to be used by all financial standards initiatives. Um, so let's go to this real quick. Uh, let me actually, let me go to, there's a pretty much a, um, investment or banking, whatever called ripple. And they're saying, they're showing you how ISO is going to affect things. So ripple is a, is banking on ISO 222 banking standard. All right. So let's get what a, a, a first off, what a standard is. All right. Standard flag or uh, I'll be stumbled on that word, whatever. It's con uh, conspicuous. Thank you. <laughs> I could spit it out. Object to serve as a rallying point for a military force. It says military standard or banner. Okay. All right. It says stand fast or firm. So this is going to be the firm new thing. The the bank banking standard is going to be a set in stone, firm new thing that's going to be put in place. So they're banking on this standard, which is set to launch for all compliant, all compliant. All right, compliant, ready or disposed to comply, submissive. All right. So it says which is set to launch for all compliant or submissive entities to use in November. So this is something that's going to be put out and people, you know, these banks better follow suit to it. 
you know, uh, we've been certain banks have changed up certain things as of lately. Um, Bank of America changed up some things. Uh, um, Wells Fargo has changed up a lot of things, you know, in in doing so, trying to get to the banking standard. It says if adoption picks up, the standard could be become the global banking language. So this is one step closer to everybody receiving, you know, this standard. All right. And we see everything going digital. We see everything going digital at the moment. So it says if adoption picks up, the standard could become the global banking language connecting all the world's banks and financial services uh, service companies. Is it what exactly what they want? Because that's their NWO. NWO paints everything the same. Everyone speaks the same language. Everyone uses the same money. Everyone uses the one same government. Everything is the same. So this ISO 222 is furthering the prophecy of Revelation 13 chapter of the NWO. Okay, so Ripple is, is betting on the standard success by becoming a member of the ISO 2020, uh, 222 committee, building its crypto fundamental value by proxy. Okay, so let's go back to this word standard, see if there's a little bit more in there. Um, says seem to be influenced by or not from, uh, by if not from, right. So this is going to be an influence that's going to go out to these banking. Uh, this is a JP Morgan website. So, you know, if you know JP Morgan, then uh, correct me if I'm wrong. That means Wells Fargo is under this umbrella. All right. And Wells Fargo is a big ass bank. There was another article with the Bank of America going into the ISO. All right. The ISO uh, 222. Migration delivering faster payments autom uh, automation. So that's another thing delivering faster payments. If you're delivering faster payments, what is that? That is what you call convenience. And that's the main, that is the main selling point of the New World Order is convenience and easily accessible, you know what I'm saying? And making everything easy pretty much, you know. Uh, if you've seen the miracle of the CHIP, you know, with people who open doors and things of that nature, um, the uh, when you look at it, there it, it looks convenient as shit. You know, you just have to put your hand up to a thing and it opens automatically. You can start your car with it. You can pay something with it. Everything's convenient. You just have to tap your hand on something. So it says, what does it mean for the payment industry? So ISO is emerging as a common language and model for the financial me messages across the world. It isn't a new standard as real time. High, uh, high value payment system have already been adopted by ISO. However, the significance of the shift will unfold over the next few years as major currencies adopt ISO formatting. Swift estimates that 80% of global High value payments will be by volume will be processed through ISO. So this is the new. All right. Even though they say it's not technically new, the difference uh, what it makes it new is that everybody's going to use this. OK, everybody's going to use this. And if you're not using it, it says 80 percent of the globe is going to end up using it. And I'm sure the 20 percent are going to be blackballed and obsolete by that time anyway, because everyone's using it. You can kind of see the same trend when it comes to the automobile uh, world. Everybody is going electric. They have something called EV. Uh, I, I'm into cars a lot, and I catch myself having to say a combustion engine all the time. I can't just say a car, because now people are asking what kind of car though. Uh, EV, electric, you know what I'm saying? Uh, EV means electric vehicle. No, I'm talking about the combustion gas engine. You, you see, your terminology in your speaking is starting to change, and the ISO is going to start changing the uh, speaking of monetary. All right. This is all part 
of that revelation, the 16th chapter, all right, where he saw the unclean frogs or the unclean spirits right here, Revelation 16 and 13. And I saw the three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophets. Verse 14 says, for they are the spirits of the devils working miracles. See, there it goes again, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and the whole world to gather them to the battle uh, of that great day of God Almighty. So pretty much these unclean spirits are the three city states, all right? You know, and the what the one we're mainly speaking about today is the monetary side, all right? Because you had those three city states pretty much being in the military, uh, the Vatican, and the Bank of England or whatnot. Those are, but the, the banking side is the monetary side that we're looking at here today with the ISO, all right? You know, again, there's plenty of breakdowns of Revelation 16. I'm not really going to go into it. I'm trying to focus on this ISO because this is something that is going to be implemented and change lives. All right. And this is the start of the, the monetary system being all as one bank, one banking language. You know, this is the start. So we're here. This is how you know we're closer to the end. You know, that's one of the main prophecies to come to come where the the MOTB makes its grand appearance to everybody. You know what I'm saying? We just pray to the Lord that we don't get tempted. All right. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Y'all can look into the ISO. Give all glory, honor, and praises to you. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Brother Kosh Paul, until the next time, say shalom and like always, repent for Yahweh Shai is coming back sooner than what me and you believed. Shalom.